Well, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about kind of the last couple of weeks and how I kind of overdid it. So a couple weeks ago I had the Camp Perry open for me, first time actually shooting at that match and also the first time going to Perry just because of scheduling and other circumstances. I've just never made it to Perry. I pretty much always went to Aniston or Benning or here in the Springs, so just never went there. So went to that match. First day wasn't too bad. I was having some hip pain and also some vertical MP issues, which I could not deal with on the first day. So just overall, not too bad, but still was dealing with some things. I made the decision on day two to make some pretty drastic rifle adjustments, which was probably not the best idea, but decided to go with those. Didn't really help my performance any, and I was also still having some hip pain, so overall I did worse on day two than day one, but had a lot of things to work on when I got back. Also, that was an extremely short trip. I left Friday morning and came back Sunday, late, late, late Sunday night. So it was like extremely quick trip. I was still having some hip pain uh, going into Monday, kind of luckily. So I was able to go to the doctor and have them evaluate because the last few times I've had hip pain, which isn't very often, I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was some skeletal misalignment in my back, but it was actually a problem with uh, one of my abs. We're not sure if it's overly exhausted or tight or exactly what it is for sure. We just know it's not a actual skeletal issue, it's a muscular issue, which is way easier to deal with and easier for me to work on independently than a skeletal issue. So I'm glad I figured that one out. So hopefully in the future I can deal with that problem and be able to do some stretching and rehab and stuff before it gets to that point so that I'm not dealing with it in matches. So after that I worked four days because I took Monday off to just unpack and get everything ready for the week. And Saturday I shot three relays of a PTO, which shooting a PTO usually is fine, but when you shoot three relays, it's, it's a long, long day for sure. I mean, it's really good for like endurance training and stuff, but after Perry, I really hadn't recovered from yet. So it was an even longer day and I was still having a little bit of hip pain. I was able to stretch some of it out so it wasn't like as bad. I actually told the RO, I'm like, I may not finish the third relay. And I was like seriously considering not finishing the third relay because I was so tired and hurting just from exhaustion that I was like seriously considering it. I ended up finishing the third relay and shot about the same as I did on the second relay, but it was still an extremely long day. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have done three relays, two at the most, and really probably gotten a little bit more out of that than endurance training. Then, so that was all day Saturday. Sunday kind of recovered from that. Monday was Memorial Day, and I did the Murph workout with one of my friends. And if you don't know what that is, it's like a CrossFit workout where you do a mile something. I ended up doing a mile on the elliptical because it was raining. 300 squats, 200 push-ups, and 100 pull-ups, which I did banded because I can't do a pull-up. And then you finish with another mile. And that is exhausting to start with, but doing it at the end of a week that I had had was just like icing on the cake. I was like completely, completely exhausted mentally and physically just from everything that I had done in a such a short time frame. So the interesting thing is like I've been that exhausted before but I hadn't been that exhausted due to just a set of activities. At my old job I was just continuously in that state of exhaustion so I never 
like when I did like back to back stuff like that, I didn't really feel any different because I was always feeling like that. It was literally my day to day life was pure exhaustion. So this was the first time since moving that I really got to the point of exhaustion that I'm just like feeling the negative effects of it. So overall, it was actually kind of good for me to get to that point because I, like I say, I hadn't gotten to that point in over a year because I just haven't put myself in that position because I've been able to take breaks and sleep and recover and all that stuff. So that like just over a week period just like literally killed me to the point where I have taken the last like two and a half weeks kind of off. I've done a couple of short practices, but nothing like super intense. I even take, I've taken a, several workout days off and done a lot of like stretching and stuff just because I've just been tired. And then working and the temperatures have started to go up here, so that makes it a little more exhausting. So just that transition into summer is also difficult. And it's just a learning experience because last year when I was up here, I wasn't training because of COVID. So for me, it's really a new experience because last year when this time of year, I was almost recovered from my exhaustion, but I also wasn't training. I was just learning the job, my new job, and also studying for some of the certification and stuff. I wasn't full-time training pretty much at all. I did, I think last, between starting my new job and buying a house, I think I practiced like six times. And that was like a seven or eight month period. So this is just new territory in learning how my body reacts to different stresses because I haven't, like I say, been in this point before. And it's just something to learn from. So if you feel like you've ever gotten to a point of like, overdoing it, it's good to take a step back and just kind of chilling out and refocus and figuring out what things you can work on to make those times of stress less impactful. So like when hopefully nationals happens in October, I can start putting this kind of stuff in place for when that comes around because I want to shoot air and small bore, maybe even prone, which makes for an extremely long week. But by learning from this experience of being overly tired, it'll help me prepare for that and being able to work through that long week as well as recover from that quicker and not have to take as much time off just because I'm overly tired. So let me know down below if you've experienced any experiences or weeks or even months of exhaustion from either training or matches or travel or whatever and what you did to recover quicker from those. I'd like to thank you for watching and if you like following my journey, please hit the subscribe button and have a great rest of your night.